What's up everybody, it's Jaren from Berkshire Bike and Board and this is a very short video going over the details of how this bike ride on Friday, September 1st, AKA the Empire Trail State of Mind is going to go. Today is Monday, August 28th. Tomorrow, Tuesday, August 29th, 8 p.m. after the Berkshire Bike and Board group ride from Great Barrington, we are gonna do an info session where I'll answer all your questions regarding the Empire Trail State of Mind. We will also talk a little bit about logistics in more detail, how it's all gonna to come together because we're flying by the seat of our pants a little bit, but sometimes that's how things work. Other important things I need to know. I need people to fill out the Google form. There's QR codes in the bike shops for it. It's in the previous emails. It's on the website page under Empire Trail State of Mind on the homepage of the website. I need people to fill out the Google form if they're gonna come because I need to get a head count so I can make sure we have space in the van to bring your bikes back. Because we've now said that we will bring everyone's bikes back which is great more updates it's a one day event here's how the event is going to go or that day is going to go everyone is going to meet in wasaic at 7 30 to get ready to go for the bike ride ideally everyone should be going with a buddy you and that buddy should park one of your two cars in at the Great Barrington Bike Shop and leave it at the Great Barrington Bike Shop. I want to carpool as much as possible regarding this event. So if you don't have a buddy, Tuesday night at eight o'clock is a great time to find that said buddy because I don't want to pull into a sake with 25 cars and fill the whole par parking lot up. That could get tricky, especially on Labor Day weekend. So park at the Great Barrington parking lot at seven o'clock in the morning in GB. Buddy up with somebody, put your bikes on that one car, drive that car to a sake. 7.30, get to a sake. We'll have coffee and donuts at a sake in the morning. Get your bike stuff on, get ready to rock and roll. Eight o'clock, we're leaving. We'll probably leave at 8.05, but I'm gonna try to leave at eight o'clock on the dot. Bring your own food, bring your own water. We'll have coffee and donuts to kind of get us going at the start. But beyond that, it sh should be pretty self-supported. We will stop twice, right around the 35 mile mark and right around the 65 mile mark. I've got two places where Craig in the van is gonna be on the side of the road waiting for us. We will have a big Gatorade jug filled with Scratch Labs, water mixed with Scratch Labs uh, electrolyte mix. For people to fill up their water bottles and we will have a little bit of like Scratch, Rice Krispie cakes and some Cliff bars, whatever. But for the most part, I'm hoping everyone brings their own food. The route is amazing. I rode it this past Friday. We'll say it to Brewster. It's basically back Berkshire County type roads from Brewster to the top of Manhattan. Basically, we're riding on a bike path. It's a beautiful bike path. It's in the woods. There was almost nobody on it when I rode the route last Friday. You literally pop out in like the Bronx, I think it was. I went from the Bronx, Washington Heights, Harlem, Upper West Side, around Central Park. I mean, it was one of the coolest bike rides I've ever been on. It felt like I was traveling the world. It's an unbelievable conduit to ride into New York City. I was so happy that I pre-rode it because now I can say with confidence that the route is awesome. We'll finish at the Northwest corner of Central Park, I believe. And then because everyone's asking for it, we will do one full lap of Central Park. It's like six and a half miles. That gives us about an even hundred miles. I'm sure everyone's going to be riding around Central Park until they get to 100, but it's about 95 miles from Mosaic to Central Park. From there, we will spread out some blankets on the grass somewhere in the park. We will order some food from the halal guys, I believe is what everyone wants to do. We will, that's, you're going to pay for the food by yourself. This is a free event, so we're not going to pay for all the food for everybody. We'll get the food delivered. We'll all eat some food. We will get on the train. I've been saying the 752 train, but after riding it last week, I averaged 16 miles an hour by myself. It's a fairly kind of rolly, but downhill a lot of the way route. It's not a hard route. I think we're going to average between 15 and 17 miles an hour, depending on the groups. There'll be some people who maybe want to go faster and a few that want to go slower. The lights went out. But yeah, it goes pretty quick. I think we're going to be in the city between two and four o'clock. I think we'll get there. A couple hours to eat some food. There's a train at like 552, 652, and 752. I was originally saying the 752 train, but we could always bump up and get on the train an hour earlier. There'll be plenty of space on the train, but we need to put our bikes in the van. So the, the van will meet us in Central Park or close to Central Park. We'll load our bikes into the van. We'll eat some food. We'll take the subway down to Grand Central and we'll take the train from Grand Central back to Assaic where your car will be. The van with all the bikes in it is going to drive straight back to the Great Barrington Bike Shop and we'll put all your bikes upstairs. I will be able to meet everyone here after the ride who gets on at the latest the 752 train. So if you take your time down to New York City, and you want to stay the night in New York City, which we're not really doing anymore, you can come pick your bike up anytime during business hours. Everyone will have my cell phone. It's gonna be straightforward. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so fun. This video is already getting too long. If you have any questions, Tuesday night at eight o'clock is the place to get those questions answered this Tuesday or email me, jpearson at birchbikeboard.com. I hope everybody comes. It's gonna be fun. I'm super excited. See you out there.